Cypher and Ascent make a beautiful combination and in this video I'm going to show you guys my favorite setups and Cypher one ways and cams that you can use in your games to rank up. Your first camera that you want to do on a site, you want to jump onto these boxes over here. You want to aim your cam towards the left of this window. And you want to jump through like this. This allows you to see very far into trees. It also allows you to see a main, anybody walking out. And you'll see their guns before they even see your cam. So it's kind of nice over here. Where this camera really shines is for short. And I'll show you guys what I mean by that. I can't see the cam, but the cam sees my legs. The reason I like having the cam a little bit lower is because it sees further into the trees. I know a lot of the time people put their cams a little, little bit higher up there. That's still a good cam because it can see into A main and I'll show you what I mean. So to do a slightly higher cam, you can stand heaven like this and you aim underneath this a metal box or this generator until it goes blue and then boom. Now, you see there's like a really tiny gap going across. So, if enemies are playing really slowly and they're walking across, it'll actually show up on the minimap. In case you miss them, it'll show up on the minimap, it'll show somebody getting across. And you'll be able to know. The only downside is you can't really see that far into trees. So if somebody wants to push trees and then wants to start going up garden and towards window, you're not really going to see that. So that's why I like having a lower cam, but both, cam both cams are good and you can vary them. Another cam you can do is heaven. There's this roof going across. If you aim at the furthermost corner of it, it'll come up red, but then you just jump through. Boom. This lets you see into main, obviously. It also lets you see into trees. So anybody pushing out, if anybody's planting defaults, you'll be able to ping them, especially when you see their arms. You know, when they're planting the spike, you'll see their arms. You can ping. You can ping their foreheads if they're planting over here. You can see who's pushing underneath heaven. You can also see who's pushed out of trees and is going heaven over here. Another cam you can do is when you manage to jump onto generator, there's these railings on top of heaven. You want to aim at the furthest, the one that's the furthest back. You also want to aim at the top. So when you jump through, you'll see what I mean. The railing at the back, you want to put your cam up there. So you aim. Boom. See? Now, you can see into A main, you can see anybody pushing site, you can ping them. It goes through this cloth, so you can ping people through this cloth, and even if they don't see you, nice and simple. You can also see anybody who's pushing from garden. So, you know, they're going trees, they're hanging around garden, then they break the window, or the window's already broken, and they go up, you see that. You can also see all of heavens, it's a really nice cam like that. Another cam you can do is if you get towards the end of generator without falling off and you want to aim to this corner of this roof as close to the corner as you can. You're never going to get it exact because it comes up as red but just drag it across until it goes blue and make sure the camera is facing up and not like down. You want it to face straight ahead and boom. This allows you to see into their spawn. You can do this before the barrier goes down and a lot of the time, there's some sovers that do a lot of their lineups from that corner, so you'll be able to spot them. Maybe he's doing a lineup from there to B, and you see his dart taking ages. You can tell your teammates, oh, he's actually faking B with his dart, so don't panic. Really good cam for that. Also, sees a lot of sight. And for them to actually see this cam, they've got to walk out and then look up. But whilst they're looking up, you can just peek out from backside and kill them. You can see people walking into trees and out of trees. It's a pretty nice default cam too, if you want to use that. A cam I also like doing is when you're standing on generator, what you can do is you aim towards the left of this arch in this general area, then you jump through, so it gets placed on this ledge. Now, you can see into trees, which is nice. You can also see into main. You can see their legs before they even see this cam. And because this cam is so high up, it never gets broken. And for people to break this, they actually have to enter sight and then turn around and look up so it's a pretty good cam you can see anybody going into trees out of trees you can even see if they're pushing from catwalk and if they're going up into garden and heaven nice cam you can do this a little bit more to the left if you want to see even further into trees so it's a pretty nice cam your default tripwires for a site are like this this is a common one there are actually many variations of this and I'm going to show you them. 
The reason I don't use this one a lot, I still do use this sometimes, it's because, especially in high yellow, people expect this. They've died so many times to trips like this, people would pre-fire that, boom, 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 and it's broken. So, you could use this box to do one. Look at that. A lot of the time, if people do pre-fire this, or, you know, they just, boom, they're not going to know. And they're going to walk, thinking they're safe, and uh-oh, dead. So this is a pretty nice tripwire. I suggest learning this. And using this same box, you can actually have so many different lineups for sight. If you aim towards the left, bottom left corner of this box, you'll get a pretty nice tripwire like this. You can also get one like this. So one that covers main. Especially if they've, you know, realized you're doing the tripwire from here or from here. Nice variation. From the same spot, if you aim a little bit to the left, you'll get one that goes down here. Like this. Prevents anybody walking onto site. It also prevents them walking to the right of site. And it actually prevents them from going to plan. Because a lot of the time, to plan, people just run in a straight line. And that's going to hit them. So it's pretty nice. Could also use this box. For a nice long tripwire like this, covers a lot of main. The only downside is if a raise uses a boom bot, that's going to get hit. So, but you can always change them. One tripwire that I like doing is from generator to down here. Because if they want to plant, uh-oh, they're always going to get hit by this tripwire. Unless they plant on the edge, but no one's going to do here, especially if they're exposed from heaven. It's a good tripwire and it prevents them from hitting the switch. Some variations for the switch tripwire can be this one. This means you also cannot push out of trees to sight because they're going to hit it. A variation of this one can be if you aim just a little bit to the left of it like this. Boom. Nice and simple. There's so many variations to trip eyes on a sight. Some other ones, if you aim at this corner over here of this brick slab. Mm -hmm. Prevents anybody pushing from the right side. And it's a pretty low tripwire, so a lot of the time people aren't going to be, you know, having their cross in this general area, so they're going to get hit by this. A variation of this one is if you aim at the top of this corner, and boom. Got like a little X setup going on. This one's quite nice too. If you aim at the corner of generator like this, <laughs> look at that, man. No one's pushing sides. This tripwire is insane. You can put this head level. So let's say the enemy jet likes dashing. So if you put it a little bit higher, she's going to get caught. You can put it a little bit lower if you want. Like this, so they can't crouch. Or jump over it. Pretty nice tripwire. Prevents them from planting over here. And sometimes it can actually prevent them from planting default. If you aim at the bottom left of this box, like this. Mm -hmm. No one's planning the spike now. And what this tripwire is good for is, especially if their team has a lot of rushing utility or they have a rushing team composition. Let's say they break this or they use util to break your tripwires that are close and then they want to hunt you down. They're just going to run at you, right? And because they haven't broken any tripwires or they haven't got any notifications that tripwires be broken, they might assume you're not there. They'll be a lot more careless and uh-oh, if they want to plant, uh-oh. Another trip you can do is if you aim in the same general area on the edge of this generator. Oh, look at this long boy right there. No one's going to push you. This one allows them to plant, but it's a nice little variation, especially if they jump over the other one to get Z. If you aim at these corners, you can get some pretty nice tripwires. One like that. And one like this. Nice little variation to the other tripwires that we put down here, like that. Pretty nice setup, you know. You can switch them up all the time. You can use some really good one ways that I'll show you guys now. So for the first one, you want to walk into this corner down here. Like so, and we're going to use, for the, for the one way cages on A site, we're going to use this part of our HUD between the cage and the camera. We're going to use this to do those lineups. So you want to bring it, and you'll see this little dark spot in the wall. Even on low graphics, you'll see this dark spot on the wall. 
You want to put that dark spot in the center of your HUD line. See this? So we bring it up. We put it in the center of that HUD line. Boom. Nice and simple. This is how the cage would look if you're playing sight. So with this cage, you can play behind this green box like this. You could play backside like this. You could play cage trigger generator. You could play here. Many variations for you to play with this. The only problem is once enemies actually do cross, be careful because they'll be able to see you. So don't just cage trigger. Mm, don't keep doing this for too long because they are going to spot you, especially if you're like here and doing it. So be careful with your placement of where you're standing when spraying. Another variation of that one way is if you come into this corner using the same line, you want to aim the left side of that line inside this darkened splodge. So in the center of this darkened splodge, we want to put our left side of our HUD line in there. Like this. Mm -mm. It's the same on low graphics, so you can use this lineup no matter what. Now with this setup, Cage you can play behind this. You're a lot more protected with this one. Do -do -do -do. You can actually peek the entire way because this covers main. So you can spray from Cage you can spray from here if you want behind this box. Here happily, no problem. They're gonna be crying. There are plenty more tripwires you can do on a site, but the ones I've shown you are the ones that have given me the best results, and are also some of the simpler ones and quick and easy to do, no matter what. My favorite tripwire that I use for trees is you see this door there's this line running down like this you want to put your tripwire in that area so if you aim at it crouch so you can line it up properly you know make sure it's not going too high or too low boom look at that mm -mm -mm. the only reason we do it down here is because i've seen a lot of default tripwires being placed on this plant part or this vase over here and people shoot it all the time they expect it so this one's good. You could also use a tripwire like this if you want. This allows them to take this space but prevents them from going any further. So it's a nice variation of that. And a lot of the time people will hang around this area. So if you've got your camera set up in this general area, you're going to see their legs and they're going to be crying. I'm going to show you two juicy one ways that you can do from this spot. The first one, you want to walk into this corner. And using a different HUD line, between your camera and your ultimate, you want to bring it up so the right hand side of it is inside this splodge over here. So the right hand side of that HUD line is inside this splodge. You see? There is room for error so you can bring it out a little bit. You can make sure the line's all the way in. You can bring this to the bottom of the line. You can bring this to the top of the line. And it will give you the same one way. And with this one way, you want to play over here. Be careful of anybody main. But what you could do, let's say you do want to prioritize this setup. You could put your cam here at the start of the round. Check it every now and then, see what's going on. Or you could use that cam I showed earlier to see if there's got anybody in their spawn or hanging around the mid area. Quite nice. So, you see them? You, or your teammates are saying, yo, be careful, Cypher, catwalk. Cage triggered. <laughs> and you kill them. From the same spot, you're going to want to stand in this corner. I'm going to use an operator to show you guys. You can do this without an operator. You can do this with a classic if you want to. I'm just using an op to show you exactly where you're meant to look. So you see these branches next to this tree. This furthest most branch, bring your crosser across, do, 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 and you see a leaf. This leaf, I'll trace it with my crosshair, so you'll see the one I'm looking at. This is on high graphics. I'll show you what it looks like on low graphics. And just above the tip, around this area, or your cage. On low graphics, same branch, bring it across. This leaf over here, same leaf, but this is how it looks on low graphics. And boom. And so this is how the one-way cage would look. With this one way cage, you kind of want to play over here, where I am. Cage triggered. You'll see them walking across. Do, 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 Nice and simple. You can even come down if you want. I like doing it from here because they are 100% not going to see you if you do it from here. It'll be a lot easier for you to, to reposition. And cage this is triggered. also good. Like this. So paired with your tripwire, they'll have trees. 
Boom, 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 boom. Play down here if you want. You can play here. Really good one way. A cam you can use for trees is if you jump onto this box, crouch, and you see how there's these darker green leaves sticking out. If you aim at the leftmost one, boom. Gives you a pretty good view. Let's say you're forced to watch mid. As a cypher, you do really good on A and B site on this map. You do a little bit better on A, but sometimes your teammates don't like listening to you. Sometimes they say, no, I don't want to play mid. So then you're forced to go mid. This is a cam you could do for mid. In your spawn, you see where these two walls meet at the top corner. Nice and easy. Boom. Look at that. You can see into mid. The only downside is you actually can't ping them with your cam because your cam gets blocked by this railing. Look. See? It gets blocked. So use this one to activate a one-way gauge. I'll show you guys. So you want to put your general tripwire, maybe maybe something like this. You could do one like this if you want. You could bring it out. Many different variations. But look how long. Like, you know, you can put these tripwires in the weirdest positions and it'll work. The one way you're going to do is you want to walk underneath this arch. You want to walk, you want to align yourself so you can't see this wall. You can see this wall a little bit if you want, like this, but just the edge of this wall, like this. And in the sky, you see two clouds. You get a tiny one and a huge one. Not the huge one, at the right edge of the small one. You want to aim. Oh, ooh. So now if you're playing here, your cam can see people. You can activate. Do, 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 do. Once you see them in this rough, this area of your cage, then activate it. Because if they're really far down, if they crouch, they'll be able to see you and they can spray you back. So be careful of that. Another tripwire and one way you could do for market is if you just stand here and aim. So it's head level, they can't crouch or jump over this one. You could also bring the tripwire down a little bit like this on the floor. It's up to you whichever one you want. I usually like leaving it at the floor because when people are in this area, they didn't expect the tripwire to be there. So it'll just keep running and boom, they're going to get hit. The one way you want to do, you want to stand in this corner like this. You want to aim underneath this rectangular banner. Boom. You don't want the cage. You don't want to aim so far out. You don't want to aim so far on the edge of the banner because then the cage is going to land on top of this and then it doesn't become a one way. So the cage is up there. And you can play down here. Cage triggered. Especially if they're in that cage, they're going to be so confused and kill them. Look. Oh. All right, your main cameras for B site, you want to stand where I'm standing. See this top banner? You want to aim at the top of it and jump throw. Oh, -ho. now you can see into B main pretty early on. You can see their legs and their guns before they even see you. You can see market. You can see a lot of sight. Let's say the omens altered. Is in this, or you want to check if he's altered. You know he's altered, but you want to see if he's here. You'll see him forming, you can see him push out. Pretty nice cam. You can also ping enemies for boathouse, or if you want to retake. This is like your typical default cam that you want to do every round on B site. You can vary this cam by putting it in this corner over here and jump throw like this. This allows you to see maybe if there's Sova's droning, you'll see his little arm. So that's good. It's a lot more hidden. Also gives you the same. Vision, it can see into Boathouse a lot easier. The only downside is if an Omen ults and he comes out of this entrance, it's going to be a little bit difficult for you. But it's a good variation, especially if they come out of sight and they keep shooting yeah. this area. So it's pretty nice. Some other cams you can do. Uh, you want to stand this area again. You want to run and jump. Here. You see this over here? You want to aim your cam there. And as soon as you reach your bump, boom. Look at this. See further into market. Especially if the team is playing really slow, this is good for that. You can also see if they're omen ults, you can see them walking up lane. You see them going down there, you can see them hide by logs, because I know there's always a stinky enemy teammate that just hides there and your entire team dies to him, so you can see that too. It's a pretty nice cam like that. Another cam you can do, well, so when the barrier goes down, your cam is going to be placed like this. Especially if the team likes rushing sites, so if they keep rushing A or they keep rushing B, You'll get the early information, you can see five of them, you'll be like, ah ha ha, time for you guys to come, time for your teammates to rotate, you know, start making a little bit of progress, so this is good like that. Yeah, it's going to get broken, but it gives you the information you need, and then either the enemy team continues pushing you, or they rotate. You want them to push you though, because you've got the best cypher setups in the world. 
Another variation of this yeah. camera is if you aim a little bit lower. So when you're running and jumping, aim a little bit low. Boom. Look at that. Now you can see into them by also seeing sight. It's a pretty good cam. You can do this before the round starts and you can turn it on and off. The only downside is it can be spotted. Not whilst they're over here. But as the enemy teams are walking down here. But if you just, you know, tap in, tap out. Pretty good cam for that. Another cam you can do is if you walk into this part of the wall, just anywhere, anywhere here really, and you want to aim at this corner with your cam, and then you want to jump through it like this. Oh, ho oh. Gives you a good view of sight. It lets you see pizza too. So if you don't want to put your tripwire, and you want to save both of your tripwires for sight, this is the cam you kind of want to do because it lets you see people here. Walk in. So you can just boom, hold the cam out a little bit, see what's going on mid, you know. And now you're safe from mid too. Obviously communicate to your team if you do see people there. Don't just <laughs> remain silent and then your team rotates and there's like five of the enemies just, you know. So tell your teammates too. A trip one you could do is if you aim at this corner on B site and you just aim, boom. The only way they can actually enter site is if they break this. Anybody pushing... Over here, or wants to push out of here, gonna get hit by this tripwire. So this is your default tripwire you want to do most of the time. You can vary this. Maybe you want to do a tripwire like this, so it ends over here. So it's gonna be a lot harder for the enemy team to actually push backside. You're kind of making them funnel in down here. So that's a pretty nice tripwire you could do. If you aim towards the bottom of this left pillar, you got a pretty nice tripwire that attaches to boat house like this. So no one can push logs now. And if they do come around here, you know, it's good. It's kind of forcing them to, it's kind of like pushing them towards you. And then you've got one way to play off of this. I'll show you guys in a little bit. You've got other tripwires. You're going to destroy them. A tripwire you can do from Boathouse is if you crouch, it's the, so the enemy team can't jump over or crouch underneath it. You want to move it out a little bit like this. Because I've seen a lot of the time enemy jets are like dashing into this area and then pressing the lever down. And hiding here, this tripwire is going to get them every time. If you put the tripwire over here, close to the edge, you can't really wallbang. With that tripwire, the first one I showed you, you can actually play on site and wallbang all of it. But if you put the tripwire a little bit further out and the guy gets hit, he can hide here and you're not going to be able to wallbang him because you can't wallbang through like 10 walls. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult. So if you let it go in a little bit, you're almost guaranteed a kill. Another tripwire you could do is if you aim along this corner. Why like that? Ooh, look at that. No one's actually going to be able to put back, push back sight at all. It's a good variation to this tripwire that I showed earlier. You're giving them room to go here, but you're giving them false confidence, right? No one's going to be able to push you. No one can go up here. No one's going to kill you by pushing down here. You're going to be nice and safe. So keep varying your tripwires on B main. And you're going to be unstoppable. Another tripwire you can do that covers... Boathouse from around this area to here to prevent anybody actually pushing site like this and to prevent them from click pressing the lever down. What you could do is aim your tripwire at the bottom in this rough area and boom. <laughs> Look at that man. So if they've got people that are like hiding in Boathouse if they're just pushing site this actually covers both of it both of those areas so you're gonna have a nice time and then maybe you could do another tripwire that goes across something like this maybe. Just completely denies them pushing the site at all. Another tripwire you could do is you could put the tripwire right here. So if they're, as they're entering site, uh oh, you could put it a little bit further out if you want like this. What you could also do is you want to line up with this box. You can do a pretty nice tripwire. Oh, look at that! Especially if the team has a habit of just going like here and then dropping down to plant in that corner. It's a good way, that's a good one to stop them. There's actually a pretty nice one way that you guys can do that lets you destroy anybody who's pushing B main. You can do this one, you can line this one up by, if the if the barrier's there, you can line up with it. You can also do this if the barrier's not there. So I'll show you my way of doing it. You can do this one anytime. If the barrier's not there, you can do my way of doing it. So you want to walk against this corner, like this. Ooh. And you want to use the HUD line for your camera icon. You want to put that inside this dark gray brick this works on low graphics too as you can see this works on high graphics oh 
So you want to put that HUD icon, that HUD line, just inside there like this. And boom. And boom. And boom. Look at that. Now, so let's see you do this. You line up with this and then the barrier goes down. Boom. Or let's say the enemy teams are pushing A and then they slowly come in B. This one can have it ready when you hear them. Cage triggered. You can actually mow them down. And the enemies are not going to see this. They're not going to see you at all. Look, look. They're not seeing you unless you push all the way out here. But whilst over here, you've killed them. A nice one way you can do for B main is if you walk into this corner like this. And you want to crouch. Make sure you crouch when you do this lineup. And then you want to aim. You see this dark spot on this really far building down there. It looks the same on low graphics. So this really dark spot. You want to have your cross in there. You can line this up without having to zoom in like this. But you cross it over that. Boom. Nice and simple. Now with this one way, you can play here in Boathouse. You can play a little bit closer like this. You can play down here if you want. You can even... Like this from CT, so it's pretty nice. From here, you're nice and safe. And this is what it looks like from the enemy's perspective. Yeah, they, they, they ain't seeing you. They are not seeing you wherever you are. But be careful. Don't keep spraying from the same spots. If you're using this one way multiple times, switch up where you're standing. So one time, you could do it from here. The so next time, you could do it from down here. And another time, inside Bone House. But don't stand in the open spraying for extended periods of time, especially if you're using a Vandal. Enemies can see where your bullet traces are coming from. So use a Phantom when you're doing this. Beautiful. But if the enemies step all the way across, they'll be able to see you. And then they'll be able to kill you. So do be careful. But it's a very good one way. The one ways that we have set up for this, for the right side, Cage triggered. you can also use it if the enemies are entering site. You can play here, and you can use it as a nice one way. You can spray them down. Another one way you could do is if you line yourself up in the center of where this edge of the wall is and where the edge of this stair is, you want to line yourself up in the center, walk across, and then you see these two things? You want to aim up a little bit. You see this faint line going across. On low graphics, it looks like the exact same thing. So there's a faint line going across. You want to aim between these two and on the line. Boom. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Like that. Now, if you're playing bank sides like this, let's say the enemy team keeps rushing you. Cage triggered. Oh, my God. The enemies are not going to see you no matter Cage what. Triggered. This is what it looks like from their perspective. They come here. Like, they're on the stairs, you, they, yeah. they have to actually either crouch from out the one way or just walk out the one way and they're going to be dead. You see them, you're better. Another one way you can do is if you line yourself up with the edge of this wall while standing on this, like this, and then you want to aim in the center of this line, like this, and throw. Now, this cage. Cage trigger. Ha oh, ha, oh, so if they're pushing out, do 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 do. There's another one way, if you line up in the center of this slab, you want to walk against the wall like this, and then using the HUD line we used earlier on A site, we can now line it up with this concrete crack and throw, like that. This is the where the cage lands. I personally don't use this one, I've seen it go around, so I thought I might as well show you guys. Maybe you can find a better use for it. Cage triggered. Something like this, playing here. Pretty nice, they can't see you. 